Hello and welcome to another Mimeo tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a discovery task. And so I did this with my students a couple weeks ago when we were studying passive voice and we were looking at the topic of discoveries. So you can see I have King Tut here and my students were making sentences using the passive voice to describe these different archaeological uh, findings. Um, then I showed them some pictures of some archaeologists at work um, excavating a site, for example, here. And then I had them do their own excavation and describe the civilization and uh, the artifacts that they found. And um, it's really simple. Uh, they just use the eraser tool to erase um, some colors that I had put over top of some pictures. And so you can see students are, you know, revealing, uh, you know, through the dirt, they're revealing some different artifacts. And then, of course, they had to describe the artifacts and use the passive voice. Um, and all of the artifacts are like typical Costa Rican things. And so they were pretending to be future archaeologists. So this is like the whole thing that they eventually revealed. Um, as you can see, it's different pictures um, and, you know, rocks covering the pictures over a background of, of dirt and dust. So first things first, I went to Google Images. I found some dirt that I liked copy, paste, and then I just rearranged it so that I have my background the way that I, I, I wanted it to be. And of course, once it's stretched out, I just right click and lock so it doesn't move around. And now I need to start inserting the different images that I want my students to find. So I go to insert file and I look for the image. In this case, I want them to find a salsa lisano bottle. So you can see that this, this image doesn't have a background. It's a PNG file. Uh, if you want more information about how to work with those images, uh, look at the Mimeo Minis Volume 4. There's a whole episode about how to work with these kind of files. The next thing I did is I went to Google and I started looking for um, pictures of rocks with no background. So once I found the, the PNG file that I wanted, I, I just saved it and then I you know, inserted it into the picture and uh, I just reshaped, I resized it and started arranging it the way that I wanted to so that I could make it look like uh, this bottle is behind some rocks or under some rocks. And I just kept the process up, um, inserting all the pictures that I wanted uh, with no background, of course, and uh, inserting rocks and dirt over them and things like that until I had what I wanted. Now I need to cover up all of this with some, let's say, dirt. And what I'm doing actually is I'm using the, the drawing tool and I'm you know, drawing over the image um, with some brown ink. And the cool thing with this is you can you can use the colors that they have there or you can select your own color, which is what I was doing here. Um, you'll see in a second, you can click on a little icon that's like an eyedropper, see it right there? And then you select a color from the image and it allows you to draw using that color. And so I just kept that up and you can see I'm speeding it up here, but I just covered up with a bunch of different layers. And this is actually on purpose so that when students have to erase, they have to erase through several layers of dirt in order to reveal the object. And eventually, once I had it all covered up the way I wanted it to, I was ready to go. All I had to do is click on the uh, eraser button and students could start revealing. This is a Michael? I the paper. <laughs> Something is strange. It looks okay, so I hope you enjoyed this, and um, we'll see you next time with the next Mimeo mini tutorial.